You cheat it. <laughs> Wind me up. Wind right. me up when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> that was off. Get him off. <laughs> well, welcome back, everyone, for probably the last part of Pedro's talk. Um, it's great to sit down and chat with him. He's a good mate, and uh, it's good to hear people's stories. Uh, that's why I do this for. It's everyone's got a personal um, life experience, and everyone's different. So it's great to hear not just from the, the Speedway stars that race the cars, but you know everyone that does things. It's all about a jigsaw puzzle that puts the whole picture together, and without one, it's not complete. Yeah. Pedro's part of one of those jigsaw pieces. So, thank you. Um, oh, you're most welcome. Um, now, I'm going to throw this one out there. If you were to take to dinner, present or past, maybe that or life, yeah. who would be three people that you'd say you wouldn't mind sitting down for dinner and having a chat with those people? Who's paying? <laughs> I me. Mean, I'll, I'll pay. <laughs> now it's only going to be down at Joe's fish and chip shop. But. <laughs> uh, look, there's a couple of guys uh, that I'm sort of sorry that I ever watched them race. You mm-hmm. know, I was too. I wasn't here. They were they were around before I was even yep. thought of. Right. Okay. One of them is uh, Bob Tatterson. Mm, famous name. I've. Spoken to many, many people who were there at Claremont when Tattersall would come and do his. Yep. He did a show. Apparently, I've, I've spoken to probably half a dozen, and they all say Bob Tattersall was the ultimate showman. Right. And you, you hear people say that to your face, yeah. and you think, wow, he must have been something. something. Yeah. Apparently, he used to come out in, the, in, the, in his office. Mm-hmm. To warm up, and he'd do he'd do laps on his own, with one hand up, waving to the crowd, and yep. just going around like this, just spraying all the yeah. fence, and you know, and he would just beat everybody. So he's like an entertainer, entertainer, yeah, yeah, good race car driver, and that's that's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, if you can be an entertainer and, and people go to see you, yeah, that's what sport is about. With your heroes and people. villains, yeah, you know, we don't have enough of it nowadays because it's all too yeah. political, but. Heroes and villains are yeah. what, what gets you there. So Bob Tattersall would uh, be in that suit. Yep. Um, probably another one that I didn't see and I, I just missed him would be, um, now I do, I do him last. Uh, Figs would be another one. Yep. Um, I knew Figs. I said good day to him. I had a chat with him, but it's the old story, isn't it? If you had have known what would what happen, gonna, uh, yeah, you would you happen. would have the guy over and sit him down and rack his brain, just rack his brain, yeah. and chat to him and give him, you know, give him the crayfish and you know, <laughs> whatever he wanted, yeah. Because that's life, isn't it? You never know, yeah, when you're not going to have that opportunity. That's right. Figs would be the other one. Um, that's two. How many have I got? Yeah, three. You can have as many as you like, really, if you yeah. want. If you want a couple yeah. more, please just chuck them in. I'm, I'm paying, remember, so they can get a chicken roll or something. That's <laughs> a ch- chicken roll. Yeah. Um, who else have I got? Probably um, um, Marshall Sergeant. Okay. He's a, he's like he's a super mod guy, right? Yeah. I've heard a few people talk about him as well, and one in particular is uh, Trevor Kenworthy. Mm-hmm. Now, Trev's not travelling too well at the moment. He's, okay. he's in hospital. Sorry, so, so, Trev. Trev, Fish. all the best, mate. Yep. yep. Um, I hope like you're it. out of there soon. I know the, the food must be good in there because, you know, <laughs> you've, been, you've been in there for a few weeks. So get out of there, mate. Um, Marshall Sargent was there when he came on his first trip to Perth. Mm-hmm. Marshall Sargent's from um, San Jose, I think, California. Okay. Came over to Australia. And Trevor Kenworthy was there when they rolled this um, car out of the uh, container. Mm. And it had a wing on the top, which hadn't been seen at Claremont. Nobody right. had raced wings yet. Okay. So, so like... the tyres were this wide. Yep. It had a, you know, a big block Chevy in it. Um, I think it was a Corvette. And, okay. um, it was cool there because Trevor said when he when they started it up, he said it sounded like two thousand Corvettes 
Wow. At once. He said he'd never heard anything like it. Yep. But the tyres were massive and it had this wing on the top. Mm. So it was a real it was eyebrow raiser. Absolute, yeah. And you, you often read about, if someone brings up the name uh, Marshall Sergeant, you'll read people that say their experiences. Yep. You know, over East and Adelaide and Rolly Park and at the showground. Yep. And, um, and he raced a lot here. He came over every summer for quite a few seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he was, um, he was a, a, a big, you know, really big guy who gave people their yeah. money's worth. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's interesting that you picked yeah. so many that, you know, do, can, you know, drive. Yeah. And, yeah. And, but also great personalities. They've, they've got and, that magic about them. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's what it's about, isn't it? There's a heap of people that I'd love to have dinner with, but. Right. You know, you pick out, you have to pick out three. Steve Kinzer would be another. He, he'd get a reserve seat. Yep. Yeah. Steve Kinzer, like, you know, so uh, I thought, Kim. yeah, well, fan, fantastic, you know, and yeah. someone, I, I thought if someone ever asked me what, who I'd like to emulate is be Steve Kinzer for a day, mm-hmm. you know, in his prime, in his prime. Yeah. Yeah. The opportunity and the ability. And That's the a great question for me. My next one is who yeah. would you be who would for, you a day, for a day? For a day, yeah. Yeah. Well, Steve Kings would probably be it because, you know, he's the ultimate. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you can come along too. You can be there at the end of I'll the table. Yeah. Well, you can be the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so, thanks for more. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be happy to do that. Don't worry about that. I'll be like, yeah, can you sign the fish and chip paper for me when you finish? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Now, all your passion in Speedway, your drawings, and you've been involved in the historic uh, association a little bit and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Quickly touch on that. Um, yeah. You know, I, I remember in 2017, was it, mm-hmm. that you helped put that? Yeah, the park? 15, 15, 15 and 17. 15, 15 and 17. And 17, yeah. Um, yeah. How did that come about and the stresses of putting it all together? Yeah. Um, I was – the Classic Speedway Club used to have their uh, gala day, as they called it, mm-hmm. uh, at Greyhounds in Kensington. Yeah. Uh, for many years. Every two years they were having it. And um, it was in a, out, out the back and it was under, under, under a bit of cover – yeah, you know, but it was generally a quite a small event. Um, not a lot of people went along. It was five bucks to get in, and mm. it was a good day. But, and I, I uh, joined the club when I retired from um, full time work. Mm-hmm. I decided I'd never been involved in any club stuff because I, you know, you work all week and you want your weekends to yourself. Yeah, yep. Right. So I, I've, and, I've given away yeah, the yeah. the four letter word, and I. Decided to join a couple of things. So I joined the quarter scale speedway club and I joined the classic speedway club. Mm-hmm. And they were, uh, uh, I don't know if you remember, but Cannington Greyhounds went under a redevelopment yeah. and they couldn't go to back to there. Yep. So they were looking for a place. So I went to, I thought it needs to be central and it needs to be big, mm. you know, because I thought this could be much bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, I had a word with Costa Park and they said, yeah, yeah, we have, we have the, the mini club come and do a, a show, a static show. And so I organized for, um, Costa Park and went to the committee and they said, yeah, right. So I sort of organized it. Yep. And, um, tried to get a few different things involved yep. in it. And we were going to have uh, engine starts outside and all that. It was a pretty, um, pretty bad day the day before. It was yeah. wet. Right. Um, you know, a lot of rain and they forecast the same for the Sunday. Okay. So we canned a few things, but that turned out to be not a bad day. So that was successful. And two years later, we went there again. Yeah. In yeah. 2017. And it was an even bigger show. Yeah, it was great. I was, um, uh, I was at that one. I was fantastic. And as far as the workload, well, it's um, six or eight months of effort put together. Phone call, phone call. Phone call, call yeah, phone and going down and meeting and getting people, you know, people outside the club to bring their stuff along and then working out. Every, it's a yeah. big, big, big yeah. job. Huge commitment. So that's huge commitment, doing, yeah. but it's that's what I love doing. Yeah. I just, I'm glad you did it because I got to, yeah. you know, walk in there and yeah. I, I was just reliving childhoods. And yeah. So, so cars that 
some that I didn't even actually see in life, you know, on yeah. bikes or whatever. And yeah. then you saw the stars and I was walking around and I got one of the Clemont yeah, yeah, signs yeah, yeah. and, yeah. Um, you know, seeing people like, I think it was Jeff Pilgrim was at that one. Yeah. I believe. Um, yeah. And I got to chat with him, yeah. you know, again yeah. from when I was a young kid. And, yeah. Good day, Pilsy. Yeah. Um, yeah. How are you doing? Okay, yeah. buddy. Um, you know, just those kind of things, mm. it, it took me back. I know speaking to a lot of people that did the same. So I just want to say thanks for your efforts. I'm going to oh, sit and kiss your ass. Pleasure, mate. Yeah. It was, it was a great effort. And yeah. what, um, that, yeah, that day did for me, I just like, it yeah. was awesome. You know? Well, that's what it's about, mate. I'm a bit like you. Yep. I don't do it for me. I do it for the fans. For the, for the public, yeah. And I really think that the WA Speedway fans have been starved a bit mm-hmm. over the years because, um, that they, they don't get a lot of that to go to. Yeah. And that's why I put on the 90th anniversary at the showground. Yep. Same thing. Yeah. You know, just, just to get these guys there so people can wander up and say, mate, I remember. I remember you yeah. and thank you. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a big deal, yeah. but just to organize it to make it worth doing. Yeah. Um, now I, um, I realized a couple of, well, three events that I really, really enjoy. Yeah. And now, and yeah. now <laughs> you're doing things like this. Now yeah. I know Pedro's helped this up a couple of times and I've told him to, you know, make sure he does because it's a fantastic book. Um, but mate, can you tell us how you got from you know doing those things mm. to publishing a book with mm. you know Ken and Brad helping and and yes. just the whole deal? Because it's not easy to do this. It's not cheap mm. um, to get it organised. Well, look, it's something I've thought about for a long, long time. Yep. Um, again, WA fans have been starved of stuff like this. Yes, you know um, Tony Roxy does a great job in the East Coast. Yep, brought out um, a few books. Fantastic, fantastic. Yep. Like, you know, this wasn't going to ever match his stuff or mm-hmm. be any better or whatever. We, we, I just thought the WA fans deserve a book on WA. Yeah, Claremont. Yep. You know, um, because you can get the occasional Claremont photo in there from some of the photographers on the West Coast, but yep. because. You know, there yes. wasn't a lot of yeah. WA guys racing over there. They didn't. They don't get a lot of publicity. But this one, I wanted this to be um, a sort of a niche, specifically clam on thing, mm-hmm. where people can um, look at the photos and just think, "Wow, I was there that night." Yep, you I know? remember that car. Yeah, I remember that yep. car. And so it's very intimate sort of yeah. thing. Um, couldn't have done it without. Brownie and Tomo, yeah. Um, as I mentioned before, their their knowledge and whatever is just outstanding. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, you know, without them, you know, none of this uh, would have happened. And of course, Jack Del Borello at, at his at his yeah. designing and he's done a great job. Yeah, yeah. Don Media um, did a fantastic job. It was my our well, my first attempt. Ken's done some books before. Mm-hmm. Um, he's done some great books actually. If you if you people are into stats and um, about the early days of Claremont yeah. and Speedway, and he covers a whole lot of different things, yeah. you know, in his book. So um, hop online and you'll be able to see what Ken's done. Yep. They're, they're really worth looking at. Um, There's some great guys too to work oh, with, not just his knowledge, because people can be yeah. very knowledgeable and and, yeah. Yeah, and it can be you know, asses to work with. Yeah. They, these two guys are really good oh. to work with the blokes. That would have made that more pleasurable yeah. to get that done because there's time restraints, there's... You know, yeah, yeah. the money obviously that's got yeah. to come before the book and yeah. the juggling was trying yeah. to get a sponsor or something or yeah. how it works. Oh, um, look, it can bring some, bring some headaches and mm-hmm. sleepless nights on occasions yeah. because, you know, you want it to be the best. Yep. And, uh, I'm lucky I had a great designer to work with. Jack, Jack was just so, you know, helpful and, you know, gave me, gave me a lot of guidance. Yep. And, um, Ken and Brad were just amazing with what they did, you yeah. know, to make it all. You can have a photo, but without the correct story. That's right. The wording and stuff, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and if you've read the book, you'll see that it's got everybody, how many titles they won and how many races yeah. and how many this. And so it's very informative as well as being a great photo. Yeah. Center. yeah. So it's a combination. Yeah. Any, you got any like, I'm going to put you on the spot because we haven't spoken. Yeah. Have you got anything that you will like flick through and go, oh, yeah, I love that. I love this yeah, thing. I love yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, you know, yeah, just, yeah. And it can be for whatever reason. Um, well, 
probably the well, the double page on the end of an era. Yep. Um, and the and the end of an era program. Like that that night, there were people, obviously people that went there that either hadn't been to the speedway for donkey's years. Yeah. Or they never been before. Yes, that's true. I know people have never been, but went because yeah, it was the last night. Yeah, because it was the last night. Yeah, and and the memories of that night. And <laughs> fancy me not mentioning the uh, the Barbagallo Geneve crash on the last night. Mm. Well, I did mention it, but I did quickly expand on it. Yep. You know, to see something like that happen, it was like a script. Yes. It was like I couldn't believe it. These guys, I could not believe it. These guys had gone out there in this race and this was going to be the finale to remember Claire Montalai. Yeah. But it wasn't meant to be like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you, I'll just jump in there. Yeah. I was filming on the infield. Yeah. With the, with the big camera. Yeah. They came out of turn two. Um, Ray goes to the outside. Yeah. Alf touches the curb. Yeah. Skips across. Yeah. As they hit and went into the fence and start to flip in the sparks. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't go holy or whatever. <laughs> A, a full, you know, yeah. because it was just like, yeah. did that just happen? Yeah. Of all the history between those two guys, you know, the yeah. racing, the punch ups, the for forty years, you know, the head button, which was great for the sport yeah. in a lot yeah. of ways, yeah. and to have that happen, and then I, I just thought, oh God, Ray, don't get out and start punching, yeah, in a way because there's yeah. forty thousand people here, <laughs> and Ray got out and went. Like, hey, guys, yeah. like I'm okay. It yeah. was great moment for the sport. Yeah, Alf got out fine. Um, yeah, the that, cars were smashed to smithereens and yeah, that but, could have been a tragedy, couldn't it? Oh, when you think about what could have happened, yes, the two reason, reasonably unfit elderly, elderly, yeah, don't take that. No, not full respect, yeah, yeah full yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. But it'd, it'd be hard enough for us to get in the car. These guys yeah. haven't raced for a long time, yep, and it was meant to be a bit of a demo, <laughs> yeah, it's never going to happen as a demo, was it? I no, mean, they were never going to be, no, they want to get into it, honey, yeah. but. Yeah, and and your vision from uh, the first time I've ever seen mm -hmm. a different angle of that crash. Yep. Now, usually it's it's coming from the middle of the ink. There there was vision from watching it going up the, the back strike. Yep. And you could see Tatnell come out a bit. He he went to, and uh, no, he went in a bit, mm -hmm. and Alf went to go around him and hooked a bit. And there you go. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, yeah, it was just a sensation. Or not, it was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. Um, favorite photos? Yeah. Probably on page 18, if you're following. <laughs> if you have it in front of you, get yeah, it out now. So page can. 18 is a photo of Arthur Watt and his very young passenger, Bob Blackwell. And to me, this, you know, as I said about art and you look at, to me, I can look at a, a million photos, but there's, particular ones that you look at mm. that really make your heart flutter a bit, yep. you know. It, it could be, like you might look at this and think, oh, it's a photo of a sidecar. Yeah. But you look at this photo, there's a guy that I don't know who he is, probably probably a pit crew. Yep. With a jacket on standing looking. Mm -hmm. You've got the old sheds. Yep. You know. Yeah, um, bring it right over so people yeah. can see it. Cause, yeah, and you've got, it. You've got a, a guy, a guy... Arthur Watt on the bike, and his passenger looks like about 12. Obviously, yeah. he's a bit older. Yep. And this monstrous yeah, thing. machine. And the thick wheels and the yeah. clothing on there. Just and, and, and you're looking along and you see the sheds. sheds in the back. Yeah. That, to me, was Claremont as a kid, as I remember. Yeah. You know? And it's it's just a simple photo, yeah. but it, it means so much. And you could probably picture. pick any photo out. Uh, and and somebody would say it's Con riding a solo, warming a solo bike. Yeah, with no helmet. And with no helmet. Yeah, yep. safety first. Con. <laughs> um, you know, any photo. Yeah. And 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 someone else would say, oh, I remember. Mm, that. Exactly. That's what this is about. And so, there will be a. I'm working on yep. volume two. I was just going to say, looks like yeah. volume two coming well, out. Maybe I we, put volume one on, on there, so I have to now do a volume two. No, it's it's not like that at all. His um, OCD says, so I, I heard it was a 10 part series. That's what I heard. <laughs> well, that's what we've talked about, yeah. but it doesn't work out that way. Really? Um, it's a hell of a lot of work, but it's a great, it's a passion and I love it. And, mm -hmm. and volume two is being put together now. We're, okay. we're grabbing a lot of unseen photos, which I think is the secret to a good book. Yes. 
is stuff that people haven't seen before. Yeah. And it's worth, you know, people buying because they've never seen it before. Yeah. So, yeah, we're working on it now. So the, the you weren't sure when I spoke to you about the book when you were going to put it together, now, yeah. you weren't sure that you could sell enough copies of the first you know, a yeah. run, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Um, you were a bit yeah. worried and the launch went really well. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I was there obviously, and it was fantastic. A lot of drivers came and supported yeah. it, which was great, and, and media people and yeah. the fans came as well. And you sold, you you come up to me actually. I don't know if come up to you, or you come up to me. Probably come up to you at that stage because you probably sit there going, I'm, "I'm done, I'm, the <laughs> I'm done." <laughs> and I said, "How did you go with it?" And you went, "Mind blowing." Yeah, well, that was your, that was your words. I remember yeah. mind blowing. Yeah. Well, we sold 160 on the day. Yeah. That's with people buying multiples mm -hmm. as well. Some bought one, some bought two, yep. some bought four, and then some bought seven. You know, it was yep. Um, and we didn't know because we're talking, you know, eighteen years, nineteen nineteen years since Claremont shut. That's right. I had a feeling because whenever you mention Claremont on Facebook, it just goes nuts. It does. So yeah. I had a feeling that people would would be into it, but you don't. When it comes down to actually. Getting sixty bucks out, and giving it to you for a book. It's a different story. You don't know. Some people where they'd like yeah. to, but they can't afford it, and that's understandable. Um, so we hoped we'd. So we got two hundred done the first run, mm -hmm. and we were able to sell nearly all of those. Yep. And uh, we hadn't planned to do any more, but we kept people asking, you know, you got some more, got some more. So we we've sold just over four hundred. Yeah, that's awesome. So talking to people in the publishing. Um, industry around Perth, 400 is a pretty good effort. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, so we're happy with it. We we obviously, you know, it's 400 people that enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and we'll, you know, all being well, we'll we'll do another one. Yeah, let's hope that anyone that, you know, might be able to give some assistance out there that's on you know, another's page or know somebody or somebody, Yeah, you know, get in yeah. contact with me or Pedro and, and, and yeah. you might be able to give a hand to, you know, could be anything to yeah. make something bigger and better. Yeah, the next one. So yeah, that's um, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. awesome, mate. Well, we'll probably wrap it up there. Just okay. want to say um, thank you for your dedication to Speedway and what you've done over the years through the drawings and through this stuff and all the there's other little bits and pieces that Pedro's done over the years. Your quarter scale stuff now that you do, you do a lot of photography down there to help them out, yeah. and that translates yeah. to the biggest Speedway. And because yeah. if anyone hasn't been out there, go down to the quarter scale. Um, Place in Henderson. Yep. It is fantastic. It's free to get in. Kids love it. There's plenty of stacks. Yep. Always crashes there, like every race. People <laughs> flipping the freaking cars yeah. over. Yeah. Um, good food, cheap prices, great little night out. It so, is. And, and to get some entertainment like that free. Yeah. And oh. you can, you know, pick a nice night, come down and buy a burger and sit on the grass yep. and just watch something different. Yeah. You know, it's in General Road, Henderson. It's starting off, uh, on the twenty, the weekend of the twenty first, I think of September, will be the first event. Mm -hmm. um, always a little bit iffy with the weather that yeah, time of, of year, but you know we run right through till uh, April. Yeah, um, and it's great. Just if you want to try something a bit different, yeah, it's really and and uh, you know, uh, dirt track nutters has helped us out a lot with putting advertising that we're running and different things and we yeah. got some good crowds there. Yeah. We've um, got a corporate box and everything yeah. there for, you know, sponsorships. Sponsors. If you just want to take a group of 20 people down there, they yeah. look after you great. They looked after us and it's been yeah. fantastic. So, yeah, yeah get up, do yourself a favour if you've got kids, yeah, looking for something to do, go down to Henderson for the course. You walk through the pits and talk to the drivers and, yeah. you know, it's really... You'll probably end up buying one. That's what you <laughs> And you can buy one. Yeah, you can. Pedro's got a couple of sales. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Um, thank you, Jase. Pleasure, um, mate. And this is for you, just to take home a little mint. Thank you. That was hat. Just say thank you. Um, thank you. Collection and, uh, Good on you, mate. Yeah. Um, just cheers, mate. Keep doing what you're doing and looking forward to the, to yeah. the second book. So. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.